Hello everyone. Most recently I finished a game project called Commodore X. It's a T-Rex uh, runner clone that has an ability to send scores online and compete with others. To connect online, uh, this game supports WIC64 wireless interface. Uh, I purchased uh, this one in July. Uh, but this game also supports T4 NIC Plus Ethernet cartridge, there's a socket to connect the Ethernet cable. Uh, this is my old trusty device. How old? Well, I got it from Retro Innovations in 2013. Yeah, quite a long time ago. Anyway, uh, I was thinking about putting this game on a cartridge, like this one, um, which I made before. In case of WIC64, it's not a problem, as this device uses a user port, which is located uh, over here, so the cartridge still can be attached on, in the expansion port and it, it can work all together, but uh, uh, in case of C64, what about this cartridge? Because it already uh, occupies the expansion port uh, in my C64. Is it possible then? Well, let's find it out in this video. In order to use both cartridges uh, in the same port, we have to use some kind of splitter and I'm not going to lie you, uh, there is a solution for that. There are many solutions, uh, one uh, which I'm going to use and I'm going to try with is Expander. This one uh, bought from uh, Retro Innovations. Uh, so also from the same shop as the C64 MSC Plus. Um, so let's see if it's going to work with the splitter. Um, I'm going to attach it to the port first. It's a little bit higher, so there are some, uh, maybe I'll show you, there are some distance uh, columns like uh, supporters, but they are a little bit low for this version of uh, Commodore 64. They are good for C64C version, but uh, I just found this uh, gummy which I'm going just to this eraser just to put here and then it's perfect okay um, we're going to put the uh, internet cartridge here and all um, settings on the cartridge are set up so actually I'm going to use IO1 uh, for uh, uh, switching the cartridge this is the address you have IO1 or IO2 so I can actually use probably the same as I will use for the cartridge let's see how it's going to work um, and then uh, I will burn uh, ROM for this one uh, and let me use this one uh, because this is the other game to. I'm going to burn the ROM and attach it to this EPROM and then uh, see how it works all together. So I did uh, play some uh, test cartridge and I have uh, written something in code that says put a uh, uh, Commodore X game under the uh, letter B of the super card cartridge um, let's compile it okay so this is the super card and the game really should work okay let's see it works and now 
the binary was created automatically so I will switch to Mini Pro and attach the IC this is SD okay now uh, let's read from G to see if everything is fine okay I see that it's empty and let's open this binary that's fine let's keep it like that and time to follow the chip It's uh, 128 kilobytes chip. It's taking some time, but actually, I will measure it and see how long it took. Okay. Stop the timer. Okay, let's verify the code. Maybe stop the timer now. Uh, and I think the verification went through, but I can try to verify and see if it looks fine. Yeah, that's the same. So it's done. Uh, this small one. Let's put it into the cartridge. Okay, let's put the EEPROM in the socket. This way. I also have a kind of homemade cover. This one actually uh, allows to also put the zip uh, socket over here, but I don't have to use it. Let's switch it to the cartridge expansion. Uh, okay, I have two cartridges and now it's time for a setup. <clears throat> so uh, when uh, you have the jumpers over here, uh, there are no jumpers, uh, this one there are jumpers. Uh, I'm leaving there in the position that nothing is selected. But for the switches, uh, which one, which one uh, addresses the one which is next to the port which is next to it. So this is for the first cartridge which will be our game, uh, actually Commander X game. And the second one, this one is for C64 and IC plus Ethernet cartridge. So, uh, first of all, uh, I have to switch the power. So, by depressing switches, uh, it will be selected. And then, um, game is left because uh, my cartridge runs on XROM in this case. And IO1 is the one I'm going to select. And game uses the bank uh, area from 8000 hex up to 9 fff so this is room l so i'm going to switch this one on <clears throat> and then this is the whole configuration for the first cartridge the game and what about the error net uh, uh, the c64 and ic plus which i'm going to use in error net, error net mode and this one, I have to just select the XROM, I guess. Uh, so it's uh, switched on, as invisible in the system, um, by PLA in the converse door. And um, IO1 also, I'm going to use the same. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, this should uh, work. Uh, one more thing, of course, I have to uh, put the cable on. Okay, so okay now it's a big time. Let's see if it's going to work. Let's put the, the power. Let's switch the power on. And switch on. Both cartridges are enabled in this case.
and this is the menu from the cartridge I created especially for uh, testing purposes. There are a few games and a uh, few of them, a uh, few projects I didn't uh, publish yet. Uh, I'm working on them. Anyway, uh, Common Rex is this one. Let's um, take a look at it. Alright, we are in the game. Let's uh, go on I have the whole uh, setup for uh, Net, which uses the mode uh, C64 and IC Plus cartridge. So let's connect. Here you go. There are scores actually taken from internet. So you can log in using uh, already saved credentials on the disk. Right? Yeah. And now, uh, as you see, I, I'm using the internet card and the cartridge is also working uh, all together. That's awesome. Okay, so I'm going to leave you here and uh, hope you also will find some nice ideas in your projects. Let me know in comments uh, what do you think about this solution. Do you think it's uh, worth to support 64 NIC Plus next to his wireless device successors? And do you actually have this cartridge or are you planning to connect your C64 to the internet? I'm really curious about this topic, so uh, let me know. Commodore game uh, supports both solutions. But yeah, I wonder uh, if my future projects should consider this uh, flexibility as well. Thanks for watching and see you on the internet. Bye. Okay, one more time. Ah. Oh.